channel gonna be about? Well, he's already doing stuff like college life and. Okay, I was gonna vlogging. Mm, no, like, <laughs> what is he doing? Like, Not like dormtainment. He'll do like a reaction videos. He'll do stuff like that. Okay, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Roll back like, Ugh. he trying to be like me so bad. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, he'll be in the studio. No, he already got a song recorded. <laughs> oh, for real? Wait, yes. where did he record it at? In South Carolina. Okay. Yeah. Y'all hometown. Yeah, and then he followed me back here. To Atlanta? Yes. <laughs> I was trying to be like you, big bro. I know. <laughs> I guess okay. that's that responsibility. Yeah. Um. All right, I'm definitely being blinded right now. <laughs> <laughs> um... Well, it's in there I'm, now. I'm doing too much. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's Mikey Mike, and this is Lexi. And she is. I'm a singer, songwriter, and audio engineer, model, all of that stuff. The whole package. <laughs> so let's start off just talking about like the industry right now, R&B, hip hop, pop, whatever. Yeah. What you think? Like, what you think we're at with it right now? You think it's in a good space? Mm, I have this conversation with people a lot and so people who like do music mm. we're all like man what's going on <laughs> with the industry like why is there there's so little substance and everything sounds the same and the only thing that's happening is everyone's taking old music mm. and repurposing it but taking all the feeling out of it like mm. the the best example I give people is Jacquees when he redid that song by Avant Makes me so I think angry. I heard it. What's it called? Um, his is called Bed, but Avant's is oh. called Read Your Mind. You cannot hate on Bed. I hate it. Bed. Yeah. Bed is a bop. <laughs> I can't say hate. It's just the sensuality that Avant had. It's just like, are we cursing on this? Yeah. It's just a fucking song. That's what it <laughs> sounds like to me. So okay. that's why it angers me. But in general, it feels like. There's definitely a lack of substance and a lack of originality. Are you, are you talking about for R and B or just music in general? Um, I would say in general, but especially R and B. Like I don't feel like we truly have R and B right now. Really? Really. With the exception of maybe like Jasmine Sullivan will probably be the closest to R and B that I've heard, and her. Mm. They are R and B, but everyone else that is labeled as R and B, uh. kind of just. What do you think Sing causes it? it? Track. It's not really. <laughs> it's, it's not the same feeling. Um, I think it's. Hmm. What is causing it? Everyone wants to be, like R and B is supposed to be rhythm and blues, right? Mm -hmm. But it seems to be this culture of being a savage and not having any friends or <laughs> not showing emotions. That that kind yeah. of stuff that's seeped into the industry, which. Mm. It's giving a, a mindset that I don't agree with to the general masses. Yeah, I think it's like, I have a different opinion opinion from you, but from what you just said, I think it is kind of being like, everybody's using the same formula. Mm -hmm. Like, you said Jasmine Sullivan, you said her. I definitely think they're top people, but I think, like, I'm so proud of, like, the R&B guys. Like, the guys are really <laughs> coming back. Sure. Like, Ooh. we got... Who are we talking about? <laughs> I mean, after you said her, I thought Daniel Caesar, but we kind of yeah. canceled him. After I think, well, I mean, we're not talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> we got Giveon, who I freaking love. Um, we got uh, Daniel Caesar, like you said. We got, what's the guy named? Brent Fias. Mm. Uh, Lucky Day. We got. Mainstream? I honestly, I don't care. I don't look at mainstream. Okay. Well, I guess. Mainstream, I feel we don't have. Who would you think is a mainstream male R&B right now? Mm -hmm. 
the closest. I don't even want to say Jacquees, but the closest I would say is probably Trey Songs. Okay. Trey Songs got especially, a good album too. Especially after that song Circles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you hear his album? I didn't listen to the whole thing. Mm -mm. It's fire. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I wasn't always a fan of Trey Songs, but like that album, like the vocals. 10 out of 10. See, the first two albums from Trey Songs I really loved, but then mm. he started getting too sexualized. Yeah. And he started sounding like everybody else. Yeah. But it, it seems like with this one, with Circles, he's kind of going back to the roots a little bit. Definitely. No yeah. pun intended. Because <laughs> <laughs> we just recorded a song with Mikey called Roots. <laughs> Y'all please be on the lookout for that. No, for real. <laughs> Speaking of our music, what do you have planned so far for your career in oh, drops? Career. 2021, we just... Dropped into 2021. What you got from there? Oh gosh, you remind me of this meme I saw on Instagram. What's the meme? <laughs> it said um, we had a seven day trial for 2021. It was somebody Ugh. was like, I want to give this back. I'm not enjoying 2021. No, for real. But uh, anyway, <laughs> um, as far as future plans for music for me. Um, I did a lot of collaborations last year. Mm -hmm. People keep asking me to do an album and that's going to come, but I don't feel like I've given enough attention to my first album. Mm -hmm. I didn't have the budget that I wanted back then to put visuals and real okay. marketing behind it, so I'm still in the process of getting visuals for my first album. Okay. That album was fire, though. Thank you. I'll be listening to Bed Dream. I have a video for that. <laughs> love Chaser. Got a video out already for Love Chaser. Um, you know I love the intro. I've been yeah. saying that. <laughs> um, I'm doing, um, I'm going to do a choreography one for winter. Yep. I want to do a remix to winter. Yeah. I'm gonna just take the beat and just record, <laughs> and you ain't even gonna know it. <laughs> Bold. <this time. laughs> no, I'm just playing. I ain't even gonna be mad. Cause <laughs> if you were, if you were a sucky artist, I'd probably be mad. But <laughs> you're actually good, so. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but but yeah, that's dope. That dream video. It's fun. It's finished. We just have to color grade it, and then okay. as soon as it's done, I'm gonna release it. All right. Did you direct it? Mm, yeah. Color in uh, in collaboration with Rashad Mubarak of Mubarak Films. Okay. Mm -hmm. He didn't overcharge you too much, did he? No, they're no. pretty generous. They're the same people who shot Love Chaser for me. Okay. So Azariah and uh, Rashad. And then I have Najee on hair and makeup, and she did some set design as well. Mm. But it's a very triggering video, because <laughs> my ex is the love interest. <laughs> what? Yeah. He, so he's in the video? Mm -hmm. Were y'all together then? Yeah. We were happy uh, then, but then... Life. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to look for it. When are you trying to drop it? As soon as he's done editing. Okay. Yeah. I wanted it for my birthday, but... Mm. When's your birthday? December 6th. Oh, is that a Satch? Mm -hmm. I love Satches. Oh, that's why we get along so well. <laughs> I know. No, Leo's and Savage. Sa savages. <laughs> <laughs> savages. Leo's and Savages. Leo and Sages get along very well. Mm, that's <laughs> hilarious. You're a Leo. Yes. My ex is a Leo. Oh, damn. When's his birthday? <laughs> uh, he's August 18th. Oh, that's August Leo. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't count. <laughs> What's that? Leo leaning towards... Virgo. Okay. Mm. A Virgo Leo, I think is what it's called. Yeah. I'm a Vir I'm a Scorpio of Sagittarius. Yeah. I'm a Cancer Leo. Like mm. I'm literally right on the coast. Mm. But interesting. That's dope. I'm excited for that video. Me too. I just dropped my first video. Love Jones. Love Jones. Oh my god. Talk I about it. I honestly what don't do you know. Mean, oh my god. I just don't know how that happened. Like I don't know in a good way? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say, because it's <laughs> dope. Like, you better not try to down yourself on uh, this love thank show. Thank you. <laughs> no, like, that's I... That's your first video. First, very first video. Amazing. And, like, shout out to Wolf. Like, he part of Wolf. He was freaking amazing, like, just helping carry out my vision. Mm -hmm. But, like, I honestly had no idea how I was going. No expectations. No, my expectations are always high. Oh. I, well, <laughs> I was second guessing that it was actually going to happen. Mm. Like, I didn't think the shoot day was going to come. Like, me and him, we would have, like, FaceTime calls about the treatment and stuff. But, like, it didn't hit me until we started shooting. Mm. And, like, my goofy self, like, I was just laughing the whole way through the shoot because <laughs> I was like, am I really doing this right now? Yeah. But, Looking all deep into the camera. <laughs> She's, like, rubbing your chest or something and y'all just laying on the bed. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look. <the> TV. <laughs> Got the Look. real R&B vibes going on. <laughs> Look, I was trying. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, I really 
this is what happened. One day after the project used me dropped, like I was just driving home from um from work and I was like, Love Jones is really like amazing. <laughs> and so many people have given me my props on that song. I was like, what if I had done a video to this? I knew that if I had done a video, I wanted it to kind of be a replica of the actual movie because that is one of my favorite movies. Mm -hmm. But I just didn't know if it was going to happen. One, financially. It's, it <laughs> looks like a very high quality video. And it was. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I work in a leasing office right now. So like when I tell you that entire month, I was freaking going in on getting leases and commission. Mm -hmm. Like... I can't, I cannot even describe. <laughs> like, I think I made almost 1.5K of commission in one month. Sheesh. And I get, yeah, I'm not going to tell you all the details, but yeah. <laughs> it's none your business. <laughs> and you, you in this business. Now. You don't like that. Right, I don't like that. Just know that it happened. You made exactly. it happen. Exactly. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like 1.5K plus my um, actual regular pay. So I was like, mm. Jesus, what? What? No. How are you making all this happen? <laughs> And I asked, like, my family... Don't give me stuff. <laughs> we had sure. a sermon before we, <laughs> before we started the session. Yo. <laughs> my God. <laughs> we gonna get back to that. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... But, yeah, I was, like, asking everybody that was close to me to, like, pray for me. They didn't know what they was praying for. I was just like, please pray for this great opportunity for me. And it came to pass, like, quick, too. Yeah. Like, I think it took, like, three weeks for it all to happen, and... From shooting to editing to releasing. Yeah. 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 That's a really good turnaround. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> we'll see what happens next. I do want to shoot some more videos though, especially for the next project. Okay. What um other videos are you gonna do from this recent release? Or are you going to? Um if I was to do another video, it would probably be for Lost Cause, because I asked like my Instagram if they wanted Lost Cause or Love Jones. Love Jones had won, but Lost Cause, like people wasn't really sleeping on Lost Cause either. Mm -hmm. So it would be Lost Cause, but I don't think, mm -hmm. yeah. Yo, she, <laughs> she remember all the songs, because she, <laughs> Cause she um, recorded it, she engineered, like, yeah. Her and Jordan helped engineer that entire project. But, um, yeah, probably Lost Cause, but I don't think that's going to happen. Because I think I'm ready to move on from Use Me. It was a it. great staple. But um, I do feel like I want you to let your projects breathe, too, and give them their, their due time. Yeah. But it is up to you at the end of the day. And I feel like if I do that, I'll go back to what I was doing, and I'll just drop a project once a year. Oh. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with that if you're making sure you're marketing and keeping the buzz. Yeah, and I don't, I don't know. I guess the only way I can think of marketing and keeping the buzz would be to shoot a video. To keep working, yeah. But I'm, I'm kind of in this mode for 2021 where I just kind of like want to produce, 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 mm -hmm. and just kind of put out the best stuff. My stomach growling. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if the camera picked up. <laughs> but like, just put out my best stuff and like see what happens i do want to i'm not gonna tell everything but just be on the lookout i do want to um put out a lot more stuff i just want to keep growing so would it be a thing of let me see how much i can put out and then i'll go back and pick my favorites do videos or no it's always gonna be a stuff. strategy i always got a strategy but i mean i just i don't want to get comfortable you don't want to get in the habit that you used to be in yeah, which would be not writing for a couple of months and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Keep the momentum going with what you want to do. Yeah, definitely. Okay. My word for totally 2021 is focus. Focus. What would your word for 2021 be? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep the same motto I had for 2020, which mm -hmm. is fuck it, why not? What? Yep. Explain. <laughs> <laughs> so, pandemic aside, 2020 was actually a pretty good year up until November and I went through something pretty traumatic that I haven't decided if I want to talk about publicly yet or not mm -hmm. but pretty much I had already been in the process of breaking through a lot of the shells that I feel I have and with that event that happened it was kind of like I don't want to say it made me stop caring but in a way it did kind of break a certain fear in me mm -hmm. which I think I needed to have done so it's just like, you know what, 
if I have an idea, I'm not gonna overthink it. I'm not going to say, well, what if, what if, what if. I'm just gonna say, what if I do try it? Mm. Fuck it. Why not? Because <laughs> you don't <laughs> know the see outcome. What happens. Yeah. yeah, just see what happens. And mm. I've been living by that for months. Yeah, mm. the past few months. And I've seen an increase in like my income. My attitude has changed. When I see people now, they say, Lexi, you seem different. Um, a little bit more sexy, mm. like owning my sexuality, I guess you could say, versus playing too shy, which I am mm. a naturally shy person. I don't like to be the center of attention unless I know I'm getting the attention, if mm. that makes sense. Yeah. Um, otherwise, I keep it more low key. But yeah, I've been, I'm proud of myself because I've broken through a lot of shells that I feel need to be broken for me to be who I say I want to be, mm. who I think I'm going to be. And I will say this about you. I've known her for like almost five years now. Mm -hmm. And like this past year, I have seen a lot of transformation. Yeah. Like I've seen <laughs> a lot of growth in confidence. Mm -hmm. I've seen growth in your like grind and like ambition. Yeah. Even when you like quit your um, job and stuff like that to <laughs> pursue music full time, like yeah. that was, that spoke volumes. And that showed how much you were focused and how much you were trying to grow. Thank and I you. think that that was just, amazing and i just want you to stay on the right path because i see like you honestly grow you're glowing right now thank you thank you <laughs> like during your growth you're glowing so i think that it's important for you to just keep going and to keep your eyes on the prize yeah. anything is possible oh yeah you just gotta believe ah <sighs> that is the word mm -hmm. focus believe yeah fuck it why not do you ever like <laughs> second guess yourself <laughs> all the time yeah and actually, it's funny, um, the set I'm coming off of, me and one of my friends were having this conversation where it's just like, I was doing a lot of teeter-tottering mm. back and forth, should I, should I not? And it's like at some point, you get tired of yourself. I got tired with myself, and it's just like, all right, either I'm going to make a decision and fail, or I'm going to make a decision and it's going to work, right. but I have to make a decision. Mm. Um, what used to have me stuck was being too concerned with details and being too concerned with how things will go. Mm -hmm. Planning, trying to plan too much to the point where I, would, I wouldn't be taking action. Mm -hmm. So you just have to, and it comes with like all these quotes that I read too, successful people make decisions quickly, whether it's right or wrong. Yeah. And then I thought of a, a pep talk that I did on my YouTube channel a while ago and it says fail fast. So. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to, I may as well try everything that I can. Some things gonna stick, some things are not, but right. at least I gave it the attention. Right, and like you'll never know what works until you try it. Exactly. And you're gonna have to fail sometime in life, so. You can't avoid it. You might as well get your failures out the way now. Get it out the way, exactly. <laughs> Let me see if it's still. <laughs> All right, we're good. good? Yeah. Cause I would hate for it not to be recorded. Oh. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Hella nuggets. <laughs> <Boom>. Yeah. What the fuck was that? How was your holiday? My holidays were good. Um, mm. I went home for Thanksgiving, but I stayed here for Christmas and New Year's. Okay. Yeah. They were right. chill. Yeah. My New Year's was definitely chill. Mm. Uh, what did you do for New Year's? I was going to ask you that earlier. I did work. You weren't? Yeah. Here? Uh, no. At a club. <laughs> made, what do you do in a club? I made hella money. So, okay, part of breaking out of my shell, right? Okay. I've been thinking about, no judgment, mm -hmm. for pretty much ever since I moved to Atlanta, I've always been thinking about being a stripper or a dancer. Okay. And so, Christmas, like the week before Christmas, I contacted one of my friends, she's a dancer, I was like, hey, can you get me in at your club? Mm -hmm. And I didn't, I didn't dance until the day after Christmas, but New Year's, that's one of the things I said where like, when I said, fuck it, why not? Okay. My income increase. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In two days, I made my paycheck for the month. Wow. Yeah. So I, I would like, ask you where, but I don't want to say that on camera. Um, <laughs> or do it was O2 Lounge, but okay. unfortunately, I think because everyone was coming down from like Chicago and Detroit and Philly mm -hmm. to come party in Atlanta because their cities are shut down. <laughs> Atlanta's open. <laughs> But um, 
the Saturday after New Year's, there was a shooting and five people got shot across the street from the club I work at. Mm. So the owners of O2 said, we're going to chill on after hours. So mm. who knows how long that's going to be. So I'm going to find another club. But <laughs> Magic City? I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> Have you seen... Um, but fuck it. But fuck it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to try everything. Okay. Have you seen... Um, I just started watching a show called Pea Valley. Oh, I haven't watched it. You should watch I it. I heard about it though. I got a, like a lot of respect for um, dancers. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. tough. And y'all be grinding. Y'all make a lot of money. We do. <laughs> it's um, and it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Like I'm, I'm a dancer, not a stripper. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to be naked. I don't have to take all my clothes off. Mm -hmm. I can just walk around in like a cute little outfit that I bought. Right. And we're basically just getting paid to party. Basically, we make sure. Everyone in the place is having a good time. If people mm. want to dance with a pretty girl, and then they throw the money, of course. Yeah. But it's it's actually a lot of fun. It's a workout. Mm. It is. Yeah, it's <laughs> a workout. Like New Year's, I worked two shifts. After hours is three to six, which is what I was doing. Okay. But that night I did ten to six, mm. and we didn't leave until ten in the morning. Because we were counting all the money. So that was oh, kind of what a life. <laughs> <laughs> counting all the money. Yeah. Wow. I can only imagine. <laughs> how much did y'all make? Mm. I don't know if they let y'all say that, but I don't know how much total it was because it's the club takes thirty percent, and mm. then each girl we tip out the promoter. Mm. But I made that night nine hundred, mm. and then the next night I made like four or five hundred. Uh, yeah, so and I'm yeah. thinking to myself, why didn't I try this sooner? <laughs> like. Yeah. It's crazy. So but, you brought in the New Year with money bags. Yeah. Damn. And to um, bring like another level to it, I have a screensaver on my lock screen on my phone. Mm. It's a picture of stacks of money. In the New Year, I brought in stacks of money. And so hey. I'm thinking to myself, did I manifest this? Yes. This looks just like the picture <laughs> on my phone. So I was like, damn, this is what I needed to do the whole time was just stop being so afraid mm. and open myself up in that way. That's yeah. what worked for me. And I manifested that. I probably had that lock mm -hmm. screen for like six months. Um, and it came to fruition. Damn. You make my um, New Year's sound boring. It was boring. <laughs> no. Oh, no. I, it really was. Uh, my homeboy had a birthday um, a birthday dinner mm. in Atlantic Station. We had done that until like, when I get home, like nine? In the morning? No. Oh. <laughs> like, I'm a yeah, grandpa, y'all. <laughs> I promise y'all, I'm a grandpa. <laughs> But um, no, I got in the house at like nine. My sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Uh, like nine p.m. Um, mm -hmm. and then like I was literally sitting in bed, watching uh church, hey. <laughs> and drinking my champagne. Come on. <laughs> and I had went to bed after that. You probably woke up. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> <Went> back to sleep. <laughs> Look, I don't know. It was just real chill. I was scared to go out to the clubs. Yeah. Um, and plus for me, like, I think I said it before, but like for me. Club atmosphere, I don't know. Strip clubs, I've never been to a strip club, so I probably might like a strip club, but club atmospheres, I just can't sit on somebody's couch and just it's, look at um, people. I don't like the direction that clubs in Atlanta have gone. Uh -huh. Like, Hole in the Wall is no longer a thing. I really liked how Hole in the Wall was set up. There were mm -hmm. no sections. It was just big, open space. Really? And the only seats, no, there were no seats at the bar either. There really? was no place to sit down. But I think they changed the name of it and they added sections. But yeah, mm. people don't. Everyone wants to look like they're bougie. And yeah, but because everyone's sitting in a section, nobody's mingling and walking around. So you literally, I can sit on my couch at home. Yes, that's what I'm saying. And the bottles are cheaper at the liquor yes. store <laughs> instead of trying to impress other people. Yes. So. I feel like Atlanta, I've been saying this for years, Atlanta is full of cappers. Yeah. Like, nobody is really who they say they are. Like, you really got to look at people and read them. them. Yeah. Hard. It's... Bad and flaky. Yeah. They cap and they flake. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Atlanta is something else. Yeah, it's, um... I would call it the Hollywood of the South. It is. But it's just... I don't know. I haven't been to LA. I don't know how bougie it is out there, either. but it just seems <laughs> like people are unnecessarily delusional. Here? That might sound kind of bad. <laughs> yeah. 
Like, um, mm. it's one thing to be confident. It's another to be bigging yourself up, even though you haven't put enough work in Ooh. to be, now that's a you word. know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. that's what I, that's what gets on my nerves. But what I will say way. is that Atlanta is inspirational. When you see, like, everybody's grinding. You scamming niggas, y'all not grinding. But everybody <laughs> <Yeah>. else, <laughs> um, you say they think they are. Hella scammers. I'm sick of y'all niggas. Shut the yeah. fuck up. <laughs> Sit down. Get a job. But, uh, <laughs> Get a job. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> what I was going to say was, like, everybody's, like, grinding if you're trying to be an artist, an actor, uh, um, Whatever you're trying to be, entrepreneur, like I feel like everybody's grinding and when you see that, especially on a college campus where I'm coming from, it's just kind of like inspirational. It's like, I should be doing something too because I'm not going to let all these other niggas yeah. surpass me and I'm just staying in the same place. So I need to do something to, you know, progress and move forward. Yeah. So that's what I will say about Atlanta. Whether y'all capping or not, y'all... Y'all make it look like it's something. Yeah. <laughs> For the people who actually got the talent, it's like, damn, if so-and-so, even if it comes off in a negative connotation, mm -hmm. it's like, damn, so-and-so is doing this. Yeah. I can do X, Y, and Z. I know I can surpass this person if I just exactly. apply myself. Mm -hmm. So I definitely agree with you on that. Yeah. What's your uh, 2021 goals mm -hmm. outside of not giving a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Continue not giving a fuck. Um, <laughs> Me too. 2021 goals um and it doesn't even necessarily have to do with music but i mean one of them would be again to make sure i'm giving the proper attention to my first album by getting more visuals out mm. but i really want to be completely out of credit card debt mm. this year i was very close since i have to find another club <laughs> it's a little delayed Yo, promoters but... if y'all know a club is hiring please hire <laughs> Yes, and I got a lot of bad friends too. Hey, so, <laughs> that's um one of my immediate goals. Okay, and discover new shells to break because mm. they were a lot broken in 2020. Yeah. So yeah, mm. I'm gonna keep it simple. I didn't. <laughs> I don't do New Year's resolutions anymore. Why? I just have a running list of things I want to keep working on. Okay. I guess I kind of do that too. I don't call it a resolution, but yeah. I do try to make sure that I'm writing down my goals before the new year comes in yeah. so that I can have something to look forward to. Yeah. But I mean, I guess for me, um, I definitely want to save money more. Because I'd be, I don't know if you this type of person. You, the, you know, She gave me an Excel sheet. <laughs> To freaking for budgeting, and I haven't used it yet. I'm just oh man! <laughs> but I need to start using it, especially this year. But like, I'll be dipping into my savings if I need to and stuff like that. Like, it's freaking for bad. stuff that you don't need. Honestly, I don't even be spending, <laughs> or you don't know because you haven't budgeted yet. That's probably the uh -huh. it. <laughs> but I don't spend money on unnecessary stuff. Like, usually my money goes towards food mostly. Um, now is that groceries or is that eating out? A mix of both. Mm. I try to eating cook as much expensive. as possible. Huh? Eating out is expensive. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm glad I know how to cook because a lot of people just be eating out every day. I don't know like, how they do it. <laughs> food don't even be that good. Right. Uh, but yeah, I spend money on food um, and really on my career, like studio time, mixing, mastering, mm. photo shoots, videos, like. I don't know, messed up or accept, but... It, it's expensive being an artist. Uh, and draining. Uh, yeah, um, I keep learning how dark the industry is, too. What you mean? Give me an example. Uh, just rumors that I hear about things that go on, certain rituals that happen behind mm. the scenes. And, yeah, I'll leave it at that, I guess. You have to tell me off camera. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I've, I've witnessed for myself, um, sexual favors is definitely a thing in the industry. That some people who are further along, they play into that game, mm -hmm. um, which makes it difficult because I'm a woman. Right. So, and it doesn't help when I show up to the studio like this. So, but it also shouldn't matter either. It shouldn't, but there are definitely a lot of people, a lot of guys that I've run into. They will try to use their status as a like bait to mm. if you do this for me, then I can make this happen for you. 
That's grimy. Yeah. I don't like. I'm one of the things I don't play about. I don't play about sexual harassment and stuff like that. Like I feel like you can't find your pleasure anywhere else than using somebody that just wants to work with you and continue to progress in their career. I don't like that. Yeah. Niggas are the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> Jesus. Another Christ. kind of scammer. No, for real. Different kind of scammer. Ugh. I could throw up. <laughs> but that's, that's definitely tough. real. Yeah. Mm. A lot realer than I than I anticipated before. Yeah. Yeah. Has it happened to you, if you don't mind me asking? What? Like something like that. Um, someone trying to get at me? Mm. Definitely has. And um there's been a couple of times I have played into it, honestly. Where but it'll be someone that I'm actually genuinely attracted to. Mm. And it's supposed to be a progression of things mm. as far as them helping me. But somehow, because we're intertwined personally, mm. the conversation of music stops coming up. Mm. And then that's when I have to make sure I'm peeping game. Like, wait a minute, you're not a man of your word. You said right. this, this, and this, but now we don't even have those conversations anymore. Mm. The way that we've been running round Can't shake the feeling we've been cutting at the throat What would possess somebody to become the thing they broke Wish that it had not been me Cut me open, watch